Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. This post is from the subreddit Relationships and it's by user throwaway2010. I'm 26 male getting married in 5 days and my fiance's 27 female bridesmaid is making things unbearable for me and my family. For the past several months of planning and whatnot, my fiancé's bridesmaid, 25 female, let's call her Jane, has been getting increasingly more rude, belligerent and downright insulting to me, my mother, 54 female, and my sister, 22 female. To give some context, Jane has been my fiancé's friend since grade school and while my fiancé moved away and went off to college, Jane stayed in their hometown. I met Jane when I first met my fiancé, but I always thought that Jane was very abrasive and rude at times, just being very blunt and a I say what I feel kind of person, so I didn't really think anything of it. Fast forward to about 6 months ago when Jane visited us for a couple of days at our new apartment. For the few days she was there, all she did was complain about our food, our apartment being too small and other things. I bit my tongue because I didn't want to make things awkward for my fiancé. However, one night we all went to a restaurant together and Jane said, Oh, I got this. We were really appreciative of this and asked if she was sure. She replied, Oh yeah, don't worry about it. You guys are letting me stay at your place, so this is my gift in return. So I thought to myself, wow, that's really nice. Maybe she just comes off harsh sometimes because she doesn't have a filter. Either way, it was a busy night for the restaurant and since I used to work in kitchens, I was really sympathetic about it. However, Jane sat there getting increasingly angry about the times and about the food either being not cooked perfectly. Jane ended up complaining because she works in the food industry as a kitchen supervisor. She works at Wendy's. I let it slide for most of the night and just smiled and let it go. However, this is where I started to see a trend in Jane's behavior. At the end of the night when the server came by the table, he apologized for the service and said, I'm sorry guys, we got slammed and hope that was okay. I smiled and said, hey man, no worries, I've been the and this is when Jane cut me off and berated and basically criticized everything about what the server did and what the kitchen did that night. Jane went on to say, you didn't even offer us a free dessert for this slow service. My fiancé and I sat there in utter shock and embarrassment. The server looked at me briefly and I glanced at him with an I'm effing sorry dude look. We ended up tipping him behind Jane's back because she ended up not even leaving a tip. We tipped 25%. Flash forward to now. It's five days before our wedding and Jane has been trying to cause a divide between my family and my fiancé's family. She was pissed when my fiancé named my sister the maid of honor and has been taking it out on my sister and my mother ever since. She would demand certain colored shoes and would basically say that my sister, let's call her Michelle, doesn't know my fiancé enough and basically doesn't deserve to be her maid of honor. She even went as far as to publicly criticize my mother and sister in front of the entire family. My sister would go to Jane and really try to be friends with her by saying, I'm excited about the hair and makeup, what are you thinking of doing with your hair? When Jane said, well, I'm just doing what my fiancé wants me to do, I suggest you do the same. On top of this, my sister organized a surprise bridal shower for my fiancé, made a custom barbie cake which turned out really well and made games for everyone to play, trivia games, at the bridal shower as well. Let's just say my sister has been working really hard to make things less stressful for my fiancé. However, throughout this entire time, Jane has been complaining that my sister is just doing this all for herself and that my sister is selfish and fake. The reason I know this is because she talked to me on Facebook the other day asking if I was mad at her because she was talking crap about my family one day for a long time until I slammed my fist on the table and said in a mad voice, can we stop with the damn family bashing for an effing second? Thanks. However, after I tried to smooth things over for the sake of the wedding, she goes on about how she doesn't like my mom or my sister and said that they were fake and this and that. I couldn't believe it, I just said I had to do some errands and went offline. I was fuming and I told my fiancé about this. My fiancé was really stunned and upset. However, one thing you should know about my fiancé is that she doesn't like drama and she doesn't like people being mad at each other. So she took it as if it was her fault. I reassured her that this is not her fault and that Jane is just being a bitch. At this point my fiancé said, well Jane said some things to me the other day that really upset me too. 
I asked about it and what I heard next was ridiculous. My fiancé said, well, Jane said, you know, people fall out of love in marriages, divorce happens, and sometimes people just become friends who live with each other. Be prepared for that. I became enraged. I said, what the F is wrong with this woman? Your friend is garbage. For the last six months, she's done nothing but be a jealous bitch, and I don't understand how you can call her your friend. I was a little out of line, I'll admit, and I was furious, but not at my fiancé. I said to my fiancé, your friends are your friends, and I want you to have the day you've always wanted. But if this person causes any problems, I'm booting her the F out of the wedding. My fiancé said, okay, I support you in that decision. I'm sorry about this. I reassured her again that this is not her fault and that this situation is becoming ridiculous. Having said all this, my mom came up to me the other day and asked what Jane's issue was as it made Michelle, my sister, cry the other day as Jane booked a spa day for my fiancé and herself and didn't tell my sister until three days before the event, so my sister couldn't book the time off. My mom said that my sister was really hurt by this and that she was getting annoyed with Jane's behavior. I told my mom that I'd handle it. I went to my sister and asked her about it. My sister said, I want to spend time with my fiancé, but Jane makes me feel excluded and uncomfortable every time we all hang out. She went on, I felt really hurt when she booked this spa day and knew that I couldn't get the time off work in time. She's also been saying a lot of hurtful things to my mom and me. I asked about them and there were things such as, well, you don't know Opie's fiancé like I do. Can you handle being the maid of honor, etc. Things I mentioned previously. So I informed my sister, if she upsets you again, you tell me and I'll handle it. I don't care if I have a stressful wedding. I don't want my fiancé, you, my mom or anyone to have a stressful time. I ended the conversation there. So now we're five days out and all of this stuff happened within the last couple of weeks and peaked yesterday when I found out about what Jane said to my fiancé behind our backs about marriage. I just don't know what to do at this point. I want my fiancé to have the best day of her life and I just feel that Jane is going to spoil it based on the behavior she's shown over the past couple of months. Any advice? Thanks. Well, OP, you're right. I think from what you're telling us that Jane is being an asshat. So I see it as that you've got two options. One is that you sit down with her and have a monologue, not a discussion, about how if she keeps this behavior up, she will be kicked out of the wedding. If she does anything to upset anybody, she will be kicked out of the wedding. It's not a debate or a threat. It's a simple warning of what will happen if she acts like an idiot. Hopefully that can put her in her place and she actually won't do anything. The other option that you have is that you just wait. I mean, from what you told us from that ridiculous Facebook conversation that you have, this woman can't contain herself. She will do something to upset either your sister or your mom again, and then she just gets kicked out. When she takes it up with your fiancé, she will back you. So that's done. Either way, it's a lose-lose for her. And what do you guys think OP should do? Let me know in the comments section, and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Going all the J says, I'm surprised it took you as long as it did to finally stand up for your family, but I'm glad you finally did. While it's not your fiancé's fault that Jane is a horrible person, it most definitely is her fault for not putting Jane in her place by now. She may not like drama, but you having to tell your fiancé's friend to chill out is way more drama than if your fiancé just did it herself. It sounds like the behavior hasn't stopped since you put this ultimatum down, so what is it going to take for you two to cut her out of what is supposed to be a special time for you? Does she have to physically attack your sister? Blackout28 says, Hey Jane, can we talk? You've done nothing but complain and put down people throughout this entire process. This is our wedding. This is supposed to be a happy and fun week for us, our family and friends. Right now, you are preventing that for a lot of people. This is your one and only warning. Knock it off. No more passive aggressive remarks to my family. No more excluding bridesmaids from activities. No more complaining. Me and fiancé's name have spoken about it and we are done with it. Either you will be an absolute angel for the rest of this week or you can go home. The choice is yours. If I hear you complain one more time or hear you put down someone, you will not be here for the wedding. And OP responds, thanks man, I appreciate the comments. I do plan on talking to her this week and her last chance will be at the rehearsal dinner. She says anything, she's gone. 
Dan says with sheep says, at this point, it's clear that Jane is not going to be in your lives after the wedding. You're going to be stressed out and busy on your big day. So I recommend having one of your groomsmen elected to babysit Jane and boot her if she does anything awful on the big day. I'd highly recommend uninviting her now, but it's best if it's your fiancé's decision. It won't be a big deal if you're down a bridesmaid. Folk might gossip, but it happens quite frequently. Prep your sister for the big day. She needs to understand that Jane really is out to get her for no reason. It's not her fault and she needs to not take it personally. Keep them as separated as possible or at least not alone together until the wedding is over. Additional information from OP's comments. The only thing holding me about not booting her out right now is that I don't want to create issues with my fiancé's side of the family as they've known Jane for a long time and it would be really upsetting for them. Also, my fiancé tends not to stand up for herself because she's afraid of hurting people's feelings. As well, it's my duty as her future husband to protect her and the fact that she's caused a lot of stress for my family and for me is just enough, I think. In any case, I'm staying cautious and mindful. I told my fiancé that if she pulls anything at the rehearsal dinner, I'm booting her out. I'm also getting people to babysit her that night. Well, the community gave OP many different ways and options on how to handle Jane, but the general consensus is that Jane sucks. So how about we now move on to the update to see how this story ends. Hi everyone. I just want to thank you all for your advice and words of encouragement in the previous post. It made me think and really consider what my next steps were going to be. After posting the story online, I went to my now wife, haha, and spoke with her at length about some of the things you all suggested about Jane. The babysitting tactic, actually booting her out, etc. My wife, fiancé at the time obviously, stated that she doesn't want my sister nor my mother to have a bad time at the wedding and that she feels bad for the way Jane is treating my family. I spoke to her about the qualities in a friend and that the things Jane has said about divorce and all the passive-aggressive BS she has been saying to my mother and sister have been unacceptable. My wife agreed. I said to her, I want you to have the best day ever and even though Jane is your friend, she doesn't get a free pass if she's causing trouble. My wife again agreed but asked for a favor. This was to feel it out, see how Jane is at the rehearsal dinner and go from there. My wife stated that if she acted up and caused trouble there, I would have free reign to boot her ass out. I agreed to this compromise. Thus comes the day of the rehearsal. Seeing friends I haven't seen in a long time, groomsmen came from out west, and spending time with the boys was something I really needed. Safe it to say, I was in a great mood that day. We all met, family, wedding party efficient that day, and to my surprise, Jane was quiet and did not say a word. Now, I didn't say anything to her, but when she greeted me, it was as if she was ashamed. She said, Hi, OP, with a smile, but the smile seemed to hide either shame or guilt. Can't really describe it. Either way, I was rolling with it. Later on, my mother came up to me and said, Don't worry about Jane. Your father and I have her covered. Enjoy your day and don't worry about a thing. This is supposed to be the best day in your lives. You shouldn't be worrying about some dumb broad. My mom's words, not mine. The rehearsal went great. To my surprise, Jane didn't say or do anything that would warrant an eye raise or even as much of a cringe. I was surprised but also suspicious. Either way, I enjoyed my time with my wife, family and wedding party, eating way too much food in the process. Then comes the day of the wedding. I don't know what happened, but Jane was nice, supportive and completely different from what she had been a couple of weeks prior. She was smiling, joking with everyone and saying how happy she was for us. I was completely floored by this as during the complete lead up to the wedding, she had been really inappropriate and very insulting towards my mother, sister and family. Either way, I wasn't complaining. I have no idea what my mom said to Jane or how it went down, but my wedding day was the best day of my life as a result. It went off without a hitch, aside from my best man and cousin's car breaking down while retrieving the flowers. Kinda panicked there. There was dancing, laughter, lots of great food and times, and lots of happy tears. I'm sorry if this update is a little short, but to my surprise, Jane behaved herself and went above and beyond my expectations as far as behavior goes. The day was wonderful and it went by too fast. As I write this, my wife is making breakfast and I'm going to help her. Thanks again everyone for all the support and for allowing me to vent. Cheers! 
Well, OP, I'm going to count this as a happy update. I have to say that I would have loved for you to share what your mom said to Jane, but I guess it's going to be one of those big mysteries that hang around us right now. In any case, the wedding went great and you had a great time. So did your wife and all is good with the world. So on that note, OP, thank you so much for sharing and all the best in the future. Take care. Now, let's move on to the next post. This post is from the subreddit Malicious Compliance and it's by user I am JJ is me. If I can't drink here, neither will my friends. Back in my mid-twenties, I used to wait tables at this restaurant in my hometown. The money was good and I got along well with everyone there. Usually, after our shift, a few of the servers would sit at the bar and have a few drinks to wind down. We figured why go to another bar when there's a bar right here. We always tipped well and nothing was ever an issue, until one day when the owner out of nowhere decided that employees weren't allowed to drink at the bar anymore. Now, I completely understand this is a normal rule in other bars and the owner was well within his rights, but I just didn't see where this came from. I asked the manager if we did anything wrong to warrant the rule change. He said the owner was just being a douche. He told me he tried to talk him out of it because there was no reason but the owner just wanted to make his presence known. Okay, he's within his right to. However, what he didn't count on was Thursday nights and my friends. Back then, my friends were in a punk band and had practice every Thursday night. I would work every Thursday night and they would meet up with me at my bar and grab a drink with me after my shift. And usually, they'd bring their girlfriends, friends, and whoever was hanging around. My friends pretty much made the bar's Thursday night as busy as a Friday or a Saturday. And when I tell you we could drink, oh, we could drink. And of course, everyone tipped generously. So when I told them I wasn't allowed to drink at my bar anymore after my shift, they were as pissed as I was. My buddy Bob was like, wait, so there's no point to go to your bar and then for all of us to go to another bar after you're done so you can join us. We might as well just go to another bar and you can meet up with us after. It was the most logical solution and there was another bar around the corner. So come Thursday around 9 p.m., I'm finishing up my shift as my manager approaches me. He looks at the empty bar and asks, Hey man, are your friends on their way? They're usually three drinks in by now. I reply, oh actually, they're four drinks in. They're at the bar around the corner. My manager is dumbfounded. Wait, what? Why aren't they drinking here? I calmly tell him, well, they want to drink with me and I'm not allowed to drink here. Now, if you excuse me, there's a pint of Cane Head High, my favorite beer, waiting for me around the corner. I walked out and joined my friends for a fun night. Now, I must admit, I feel bad for the bartender who usually worked Thursday nights. She had no part in the decision and her tips suffered because of our move. But that's on management, not me. After a few weeks, the owner noticed the dip in sales on Thursday nights and said we were allowed to drink at our bar again. However, the damage was done. We found out that not only did the bar around the corner have all the beers we usually drink, but they were also much cheaper. We also struck up a great friendship with the bartenders. We found our new hangout spot. There was no reason to go back. Oh well. Oh my, what an idiot. Shooting himself on the foot, I mean shooting his business on the foot because he just wanted to show a little bit of power. Thank you for sharing, OP. Take care. And it's that time that we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. I really did enjoy reading them to you. So if you did, then don't be shy and go ahead and give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe or even share this video with people that you might think will enjoy my storytelling. Also, if you have the time, go down to the video description and check out all the links I have for you, from our Discord community to my channel merch. And finally, I'd like to say thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me that you enjoy my videos. And having said all that, I'll see you guys in the next video.